Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. This morning, we want to talk about a very disturbing incident that took place last night in Westmoreland, leaving 20 people injured um, and three dead. That's what we're hearing. I'm um, yet to confirm if the, the third person has died, but I hear at this minute that three persons have died, but we can confirm that two has died. The first one is 31-year-old Cassin Blair, otherwise called Coco, and 31-year-old Mark Morgan, also called Hothead. Um, it is understand that they were at a bike show in White 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 House in Westmoreland um, when a, a confrontation between a man called Gordon and another man and it is reported that the man threatened to kill Gordon he left the venue and returned and he came back and fired shots hitting Gordon and Blair you understand so Coco and Hattie those are the persons um, we can confirm dead, but we are hearing news that a third person has succumbed to the in, to their injuries. But what is Jamaica coming to? What is Jamaica coming to? On a serious note, in October in Portmore, South Borough, seven persons were shot, two fatally. Then another situation in Portmore, Brayton, Reed Spen to be precise, eleven persons were shot, two dead now what is taking place now what is happened that especially in once once a few years ago you would never hear of incidents like this taking place in west milan we knew of the lottery scamming down there in montego bay it has infiltrated the, the adjoining parishes and it is transcending other parishes because these persons from Montego Bay keep moving around and they infiltrate other communities. Now, whatever the situation is, we heard that it was a bike show there in West Milan. Persons were there enjoying themselves. Argument developed. Man left, went, come back with, with machine, decided to take out people's life. And at the end of the day, when shots are being fired, per, pe per, people are beating a haste to retreat frantic um all over the place so in between all of that persons were person got shot person got injured because of the stampede but um we are waiting on the police report to give us an idea of what really took place down there but so far what we can tell you is that two persons has confirmed dead we understand a third person has died and 20 persons have been injured now i don't know what is happening once a couple of years ago as i said places like west Mullen, Hanover, you know those places were consi once considered um quiet nice rural areas where you could go and chill white house in west Mullen was also a, a, a community a lot of persons would you know embodied as being a, a nice community but those communities have been infiltrated by gangsters the lottery scamming has gotten so rotten down in the western part of jamaica it affects every single person's life down there and can you imagine this morning what is ha what um the mood like in white house after that incident but as i said it's early days yet and we are waiting for the police report but I mean, Jamaica has hit a, a, um, a really rocky road so far because, as I said, October, we we had um, seven persons shot in South Borough, in St. Catherine, including the Jamaican footballer Malik Foster. Then, a couple of days after, 11 persons were injured in a gun sh um, a shooting situation there in Brayton, St. Catherine. Now, we are hearing... Three persons dead in White, um, White, 
white ho uh, white house in Westmoreland and I mean it's just a sad sad situation because I don't know how to look at it you go I don't know if this incident took place when the curfew is was still in place right but you left your house to go and enjoy yourself and your chances of coming back to your family is so remote another situation i want to touch on very quickly i was reading the jamaica loop and i saw a story and i'm going to read the story for you the police are continuing their search for a gunman who shot and killed a man while he was extinguishing a fire at his house on top milford road in Ochre St. and last week i want you to listen to this story very carefully the deceased man has, has been identified as 33-year-old Damien Steer. Reports are that about 8 p.m. Steer was engaged in a card game with other individuals when he was alerted to a fire at his house. During his attempt to extinguish the blaze, an armed man reportedly pounced on him and shot him. The gunman then fled the scene. The police were alerted and Steer was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Now, how could this, how do we really have humans like this? These persons, when they are caught, must not be treated like human beings because clearly they are not. Now, there's a strong possibility that this person set the man's house on fire to get his attention. The minute he turned up to put out the fire, you pounced on him, shoot him dead. So this man, in your estimation, even if this man had survived, his house would have been destroyed. But your, 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 your plan was not to just destroy his house. Your plan was to kill and destroy. We hope the police will get to the bottom of this one. And at some point, we'll hear they catch up with this person because this person should not be treated like human being because clearly he's not. Anyway, you can let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be the first to be notified. And you can follow me on my, my opinion TV on Instagram. And just in case anything is happening in your neck of the woods, you can also DM me there and give me some information but until next time be safe be good look out for your family and also look out for a neighbor